Chapter 23 Juicy El, Anthea, and Antonio continued down the trail that led to Antwitch's place while exchanging stories of their adventures. Anthea was impressed with Antonio's recovery from his mishap in the town, and was almost in disbelief that he was able to gather all of the ingredients required for the test to become an assistant. Likewise, Antonio was in awe over Anthea and Elle's adventure through a giant's house, and more importantly, her traveling with a human, and even rarer that the ants would stumble upon one. In fact, there were so few interactions with humans that there were whispers amongst the colony that they were actually mythological creatures that were fabricated by the elders to keep young ants from wandering off too close to the forest edge. If that were the case, it was working. Most ants kept clear of the outer edge of the forest and mostly stayed within the inner woods. Anthea couldn't wait to bring Elle to the colony. Everyone would be so excited to meet an actual human and could stop being afraid of what they thought were monsters out to kill them. Little did poor Anthea know, that is just what ants were to humans. Pests. As it continued down the somewhat worn path, it began to become less clear and difficult to see in the grass. If Elle was following this trail on their own, they would have surely became lost and ended up somewhere else. Thankfully, they had Antonio to lead the way, so they weren't concerned with the path as it started to become more difficult to follow. There was a small clearing in the trees up ahead, and Elle could barely make out what looked like a cottage in the center. This must have been Aunt Witch's place. Finally, they were close to getting home after everything they had gone through just to make it here. I'll run up ahead and report to Aunt Witch, Antonio said, jolting up and hopping down from Elle's shoulder. See you there! Anthea shouted back as he ran off, waving to him with a smile. As they approached the cottage, Elle was able to make out more details and look at its surroundings much clearer, and if they weren't mistaken, they could even smell more of what they could have sworn was the smell of freshly baked pies. Elle got excited. They loved pies. They looked at the chimney of the cottage and saw smoke billowing out of it. Next to the cottage were chopped logs, stacked up in a haphazard way, next to a shed with a sign on its door, which was slightly ajar. Instead of a sign with words, there was only a picture of an apple. Elle looked at the askew door and saw a few juicy apples that looked like they had been dropped, keeping the door from shutting all the way. The worn trail slowly turned into a cobblestone path that led straight to the door of the cottage. As Elle looked around the yard, they noticed hundreds or maybe even thousands of dirt patches in the grass and a sign that read, Stay Off the Grass. After looking a bit closer, they determined that they weren't just dirt patches, but ant hills. There was also a small garden on the edge of the woods just a short distance away from the cottage. It looked very well taken care of, full of a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. There were even some that Elle had never seen before. They must have been local to the forest. Maybe if they asked nicely, the Aunt Witch would let Elle try some of them. Maybe she would even let Elle take some home to Sam, Mother, and Father so that they could also try them. It could be Elle's souvenir from their adventures, maybe even an apology gift for causing so much worry about their disappearance. They approached the door to the cottage, and Anthea gave Elle permission to enter without knocking. When they opened the door and took a step in, they were immediately greeted by a voice. Why don't you? Delicious! Hey everyone, again, I hope you are enjoying my Inktober story so far. Real quick, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Hero of Ink for doing the perfect voice of Antonio. Roll the clip! Hey, this is Hero. I had a lot of fun helping Casey with these videos. And I also have my own channel where I'll be posting videos of my own. Eventually. In the meantime, you can check out my Instagram where I try to post daily. And who knows, maybe me and Casey can collab again someday. Well, that's it for now.